I think you always hope for the best. Um, you know, when you go into a game, you you know that you're just going to go out there and attack. You're going to try and get the job done, and you're going to go as long as you can. Um, you know, I was fortunate enough to get get the job done early. Um, I you know had a couple of innings where it was real short on the pitch count, which helped me keep going in the game. Do you thrive in that kind of a situation where you know that your hitters are going against a guy who uh, you know was picked in the first round? Going in, you know it's going to be tough. You know, runs are hard to come by, so. I think it's you know a situation where you see that matchup, but then again you're you're looking at it where you know you're still facing the same game, you're still facing the zone. The hitters change a little bit, but I feel like you know we just stick to our game plan, and worry about what we can do about it, and just go with that. Perfect. It's awesome. Um, not even for the standpoint that it gets the job done, but just for you know these guys that are here with me, my teammates. You know we've been through so much through the fall, through the spring. You know all the hard work put in. It's really cool to you know come out here and execute for those guys. It'd be a lot of pressure being the son of the mayor of Brazil. <laughs> hey, are we gonna take his place now? Hopefully, we, we're coming back, you know, and uh, you know he's gonna definitely enjoy it while we're still here, trying to get the job done. But you know, if we're fortunate enough to come back, you never know what can happen. Has Robbie caught you much this year? Uh, he's caught me sparingly. Uh, you know, I had most most games. Nate was behind the plate. Right. Um, and Robbie's your roommate. He is. He is. He, he, is. Met, he mentioned that you guys have very similar personalities. How would, <laughs> how would you? I mean, you guys obviously have a connection. How would you explain it? And how was it comforting having him about? <laughs> um, you know, he's pretty much my best friend on the team, and we're literally the exact same person. I don't know if he told you that, but yeah, he did. But can you expound on that? What, what does it feel like? Um, I don't know. Just, you know, our, I guess our sense of humor, our personality, everything about it, you know, we kind of see eye to eye and we kind of agree on most things. And, you know, having him as a roommate and the best friend on the team, it's really comforting having him back behind the plate. I heard you guys have a, you have a fish tank that's kind of a little hot. What, what kind of fish you got in there? Yeah, I, I got a little on you. <laughs> um, I have five skirt tetras. They're technically glowfish. They glow under a black light, neon colors. It's kind of cool. I like it, but it's about it. <laughs> we didn't talk really at all about the lineup. You know, I feel comfortable with every catcher we have all the way through, and mm -hmm. you know, we throw with them all during the fall, during you know side sessions. So it's kind of it's not like I've only thrown to Nate my entire career. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, we feel really comfortable with these guys. We know they'll call a good game, and we know that they're there to help us get through it. Kirby went out there and you know did his best. He was just first off night of the year. Yeah. Um, but, you know, going into that, you know, we have to respond and, you know, we have mm -hmm. to come back in this game and, you know, really execute. So our, our plan is just to go out there, throw strikes, attack hitters, and I feel like we did a good job. How have you handled that, um, you know, just that change and n not, not having the stability in your own assignment that you did a year ago? You know, it's really the same. You know, your mindset doesn't change. And, you know, like I've always said, when your number gets called, you go out there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's not really my decision to choose, not my decision to make. So, you know, you can't really worry about the things you can't control. You just kind of have to go out there and try and do your best. You look at Kirby, he's an amazing pitcher, you know, unbelievable season. So, you know, even Spores and all the other guys that filled in, they did a tremendous job. You know, we're all here together. We're not really competing, you know, whether it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You know, we're all going to go out there and try and get the job done. So, you know, these pitchers as well as anybody, if you guys have Spores and Lewicki and Howard uh, lined up ready to go tomorrow, how does, uh, you know, how do you like the chances? Oh, yeah. You know, those guys are unbelievable. They've been unbelievable all season. You know, they've shown what we can go through but not only that you know the guys behind us you know that's what really carries us that's what carries the pitching staff we've had tremendous defense all season and you know you can't have a you know really dominant pitching staff without those guys because the confidence you have in them right one thing i always look at is uh balls kept in the infield mm -hmm. you know, i don't you know, realize you have 22 27 outs in the infield I didn't. You know, I didn't know. A lot of ground balls, a couple double plays, mm -hmm. line outs, pop ups, strikeouts. Safe to say that's a big part of your, your resume for success. Is that, will you, you know, you take your chances with that. Yeah, I definitely will. Um, you know, our plan is to attack, and by attacking, we're just trying to miss the barrel. You know, we're not going for strikeouts. We're not going for, you know, dominant power pitching because that's not who I am. Um, so, you know, my my mentality is to go out there, try and miss the barrel, try and get ground balls, and get the guys behind me to play. What's it like playing for? Two guys who have been pitching coaches for a big part of their career, obviously Coach O'Connor and Coach Coon, have them that d double resource at your disposal. You know, it's, it's tremendous. You know, they're some of the best coaches in the nation, and having them behind you, you know, teaching you, mentoring you year in, year out, it's it's pretty cool. You know, they're there every day to help you get better, and you know, not only the physical side but the mental side's a big big help. Final, just a quick one. Tell us a little bit about your dad, the, the mayor of Whoville. Like, what was he like growing up? And has he, was, has he always been a real go-getter? And a, he has mobilizing people. Has he been an organizer? He has. He's uh, you know, he's been a leader really as long as I know him. You know, even in our family. So, 
you know, it's him going and organizing this doesn't surprise me, but, you know, he's out here to have a good time just as with the other parents and enjoy the time here. How did you hear about it? Did he, did he run it by you first or like? Uh, I actually got the news. He told me, you know, hey, a bunch of, you know, a group of families and parents, we're going to get, you know, a bunch of RVs and we're going to have our, you know, time out there and spend it out there. He, you know, they had the option to stay in the hotel, but they figured, you know, you couldn't put a price really on the bonding time that they would have together. And, you know, they've really enjoyed it. And that's all that you can really hope for. Your, your families will be friends for life now, too. Oh, yeah. It'll be really cool.